In July of 2023, a man who was recording from his apartment would capture something that garnered a lot of attention on social media. He noticed that there was some erratic driving taking place, which is evident in the video too. But what followed afterwards was shocking. It has since been described as an extreme case of road rage. Have a look at the video. Yo, 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 yo. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Wow, wow. This angle was the one that showed the entire incident go down, whereas the other angles were captured by CCTV cameras. A car came flying down the street to almost hitting another car and then stopped right in the middle. The man driving exited and decided to jump on top of the Lexus, smashing its windshield. Things don't end there though, as he goes to then assault the driver. The assailant got arrested about a week later following the incident, and he's said to be a man in his 30s. It's unclear what followed next as the news sources don't give any further updates. What are your thoughts on this unbelievable road rage incident? Let me know in the comments. The next video was taken from the interview of Richard Cottingham. A few people might have heard the name before, others may be hearing it for the first time, but this isn't just an ordinary man being interviewed. There is a much darker backstory to why the interview is taking place, and the content in the clip makes it even more disturbing. Watch. You like to torture your victims. I enjoyed it. It was a game. It's scary to a girl. To have something like done like that, to be so close to a knife, so to speak, pressed against you. The situations that I was seeking were more of a power trip. The power of holding someone's fate in your hands is a very powerful aphrodisiac. The adrenaline rushes like nothing. I mean, you're, you're in complete control of somebody's destiny. Richard Cottingham was also known as the Torso Killer. Times Square Killer, or New York Ripper. The reason for this is because he was responsible for taking the lives of at least 18 young women and girls. All of this took place in New York and New Jersey between 1967 and 1980. The video itself shows how he feels no remorse to his actions, arrogantly stating that he enjoyed the adrenaline of having someone's life in his hands. This is beyond the disturbing, and the way he spoke about it so nonchalantly makes it all the more creepier. Richard Cottingham was sentenced to life in prison. This is a commercial that was recorded in 2007. It's for the Japanese product Kalbi Konsume Panchi and has since become infamous with those who know the backstory. The commercial itself is nothing short of weird as it makes no sense for a dog to market a chips brand. That isn't the creepiest part though, as the dog costume made a lot of people uneasy. Take a look at the video. It may seem harmless with the upbeat music and happy kid, but the video creeped out quite a substantial amount of people who watched it for the first time. After it became viral, people dug deeper into this commercial, only to find rumors that the costume itself was made from a real dog. Allegedly, a real dog head was used along with its eyes, nose, and mouth. Four other dogs were used for the fur. More rumors that circulated around the commercial claimed that the man who wore the costume passed away shortly after as he was unable to get out of it. All of these may just be rumors, but the opinion of the costume being made using real dog fur is one that is commonly accepted. What are your thoughts on this? 
Let me know in the comments. This video shows an SUV spinning out on a road. At first glance, this is bizarre as nothing seems to have affected it and the roads are decently clear. The reason for the SUV being spun though is beyond shocking. Watch. Two people on a scooter literally cut all of the lanes to try and go towards the other side. The SUV notices them just in time, immediately steering away. This caused the SUV to spin out, though luckily, it didn't end up hitting anything. The driver did a great job at avoiding the people on the scooter, but it's still bizarre how they didn't care about anybody else's safety. What do you think about their actions? Let me know in the comments. On the 18th of March, 2024, a shocking video from Cadiz, Spain surfaced on the internet. It shows two men who just finished a robbery at the local jewelry store. They seemed to operate as part of a broader group, as they were seen with a uniform-like outfit and were armed. Sadly for them, something bizarre would happen that would foil their plans entirely. Watch. As the two men go to escape on their moped, the locals in the area notice and are having none of it. What follows is a brawl between them and the two men, leading to both the robbers being pinned to the ground. This wasn't without struggle though as they seem to have fought back hard. The brave locals held them to the ground till the police arrived. Many things were found on them at the time of arrest, including dangerous weapons. The robbers are believed to be part of a nomadic criminal group prompting an ongoing investigation to uncover any further illicit activities they may be involved in. This next video was recorded inside of a Ferrari 458 that is going close to its top speed in a tunnel. The car, which was engineered to be able to cope with this, can be seen pretty stable at such high speeds. However, even when the car was designed for it, something can go wrong and result in a horrifying situation. Take a look. As the car was going over 170 miles per hour, one of the tires had a puncture which completely threw the car off. There was no saving it once it happened and the car ended up crashing into the walls of the tunnel. Though that was the case, the two passengers survived, showing how well engineered the car was. The aftermath showed that the entire front end was pretty much gone, yet the chassis remained intact which is probably why both the driver and passenger survived. Even though this video made a lot of noise on social media, the date and location is unknown. The next video was recorded in Guangdong, China on the 29th of March, 2024. It was recorded inside of an apartment, but what happens next is very unexpected. Take a look. Oh, 
The strong winds blew open the door windows, causing chaos. The baby was thankfully saved though, with the mother's quick reflexes and thinking saving the day. China has had severe weather recently, with a massive rainstorm also hitting parts of the country. The people here were very lucky to get through the situation.